Hey and welcome to another tutorial today I will show you how to create this cool looking vase logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the left one is an image, the right one is the logo created inside PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start in the blank presentation. I already have this logo in here. I will select format, colors and I will fade out the colors using this gray preset. I will zoom in as much as I can and let's start with this main shape because this is probably the most complex one or complicated one. There is probably no other shape which we can use for this one, so we have to use a custom shape which is called a freeform shape. So I will select insert, shapes, freeform shape which is also in here. And I will start by adding those vertices. So one should be here, arrow one should be here, and there should be one on the right side, top side, left side. And I guess we would need one more here, but let's see, and I will connect everything together. So we have a kind of weird looking shape, but let's give it a minute and it will look much better. Um, before then I have to open the fill properties, more fill colors and I will increase the transparency a little bit just so I can see what's below. I will right click and select edit points and for most of them, so at least for this one it should be a smooth point, so I will right click and select smooth point. I will do the same for this one, the bottom one and this one. The R one, maybe this one should be smooth as well. But this first one shouldn't be smooth, that will be a, like a corner point, that will be a straight transition and I will start by setting or adjusting those handles so most of them should be either horizontal or vertical so this will be vertical this will be horizontal sorry i've accidentally right click on the wrong shape so i'll select eight points this should be like horizontal this should be probably a little bit tilted maybe i don't need this point maybe i can just get rid of this and so in order to get rid of the point you will press the control key on the keyboard and hover over the point the cursor will change into this X symbol, so if I click this, I will delete this point. Now you can see everything looks kind of weird. That's because when you move point or add point or remove point, it kind of uh, resets some of those anchors, which is kind of strange, but that's how it works. So I have to manually adjust those to make sure that everything is fine. Okay. I'm pretty happy with the result, you know, maybe this top part should be a little bit more rounded and this left, uh, this bottom part should be less. So what I can do is I can co hold my control key on the keyboard and I will change the length of only one of those handles, of only the top one. The left one, so the bottom one will stay intact and I can actually make it a little bit smaller like this. Still I see the transition is a little bit harsh, so maybe I can adjust this anchor point, okay. This will probably look a little bit better. Okay, so one more adjustment in here. And once I'm happy with the shape, I can continue with the other shapes. So that will be those eyes, the smile and the wheels. All of them should be pretty easy. The eyes are the easiest because those are just the ellipses or circles. So I will insert shapes oval and I will draw it with my shift key being pressed just so it's a circle. And I will duplicate it, you know, dragging this shape, you holding the control and shift key on my keyboard. Then I will draw this smile and for this one I will use the arc shape, so insert shapes arc, which is in here for the basic shapes. I will again draw it with my shift key being pressed just so it's a circle. And before I set the size I will adjust those handles to have a, almost like a full circle. That will make it much easier for me to set the right size and position it properly over the smile like this. And once I'm happy with the size and the position I will adjust those handles maybe around here. Maybe I can still set the width or the boldness of the line. So I will right click and select format shape and I will start increasing the width for the line until it kind of matches what's below. Maybe I can increase the transparency a little bit just so I can see it better. Now for those rounded endings I can simply set the cap type from the flat to be round and everything should work just fine. Okay, so that's fine. So the only missing part for the main shape are the wheels. I will insert a new shape being the circle and I want to draw the circle in a, in a way that it's kind of in the middle of the outline because once we add the bold outline it will be both inside and outside of the shape. If I quickly hide the fill you can see that once I start increasing the width for the line it will grow to both sides so it's a good idea to make sure that the you know, position or the size of the shape is like this. I will duplicate it again, dragging it with my control and shift key being pressed. Move it like this. And I can draw the main icon shape, which is, you know, could be drawn with the round rectangle. It's most likely the super ellipse. 
if you want to know more i will put the link in the description for the how to draw the super ellipse inside a word or powerpoint right now i will just use the round rectangle draw it with my shift key being pressed kind of guess the size I will increase the transparency for the fill just so I can see what's below and increase the roundness of the corners maybe like this. Okay, so once we have everything in place, I will open the selection pane and actually select everything except for the picture, move it to the right side, select the picture, move the picture to the left side, select format, reset picture. That will reset all the colors and I can start adding those colors back to my shapes. So for the main background, I will move it to the back below all the other shapes. I will right click select format shape and I will sample the fill color. So I will open the color drop down menu, set the eye dropper tool and sample this blue color. I guess I can hide the selection for now just so it's not uh, blocking our view. For the main shape, I want to set the fill to be white so I can either sample the wheel, uh, white color or just set it manually. The line should be some kind of gray so I will sample this color and I guess the bolt or, or the width of the line should be same as the wheels so maybe i've used 14 points so i will again use 14 points for the line width for the main shape you can see we get a lot of a little bit of like a spike in here we can solve this by setting the joint type from meter to round that should fix this both the eyes eyes should have the line set to no line and fill set to the gray one so i will use this gray which i've already sampled for the mouth it's the opposite way that the line should be the gray one and the fill should be no fill which is already set and the wheels will have this gray outline and the fill will be a little bit lighter gray so i'll set the solid fill for the fill and i will sample this color from those wheels on the left side so it seems like everything is in place if you uh, the background shouldn't have any outline of course but if you compare it with the icon on the left side you can see there is like a drop shadow effect below those wheels if I zoom in as much as I can, you can see there's kind of like the hard line around the wheels and then it's kind of blurred to the distance for the shadow. So what I will do is I will start with those two ellipses. I will draw them like this, duplicate them to the right position. Then I will select both of them and move them over my icon. Of course, there should, they should be below the wheels. So I will open the selection pane and make sure that they are below the wheels like this. The line should be set to no line and I will sample the fill color from the left image so this is like a darker blue color. Then I will duplicate both of them and I will blur them using the uh, soft edges. So in, inside effects I will open the soft edges and I will insert I don't know like 10 points. You can see that nothing is visible that's because the blurriness is so big that it kind of disappears so I have to make those a little bit bigger like this until I will see something. I will again move all of those be below all the other shapes and maybe for the fill I will make it a little bit more transparent, you know, set the color to be a little bit darker and a little bit less transparent and I guess I will do the same for those two. So I will set the darker color but I will make it a little bit more transparent like this. Okay, and you know that's uh, the next steps are just playing with the transparency of the individual shapes and the colors of those shapes to kind of match the shadow look of the original logo or the icon but i guess i'm fine with the result which we have right now so that's it that's how you create the vase icon inside microsoft powerpoint in almost no time thanks for watching